Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Echoing Deeps. It's a land cave with you may have Echoing Deeps enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of any land card in a graveyard except it's a cave in addition to its other types and tap add colorless this is a really sweet card that i again mostly miss during spoiler season it's very similar to a card that we already have which is vesuva although of course this can only hit lands in graveyards that's sometimes going to be better and it's sometimes going to be worse but what it does give you is something that lands like vesuva and thespian stage don't give you and that is effective recursion for your powerful lands so a lot of the times when you're playing a deck that is pretty centered around a powerful land, such as a mono black deck that really wants to power out stuff with Cabal Coffers or Nykthos, that land is going to become the target of a lot of attention from your opponents and they're probably going to use removal to get rid of it. In most decks that don't have a dedicated way to recycle lands, that would be the end of it, particularly if you're in mono black again because they don't really have that many ways to recur lands from graveyard. However, if you have this in your deck, it can just come down and become another copy of that land that's been destroyed. And I don't know about in your meta, but in my meta we're fairly low on land removal so people are running maybe two to three pieces at most in a deck and they're not usually going to draw more than one per game so if they've already used the removal on the first copy of the land the second copy of it might actually get to stick around and wreak havoc on your opponents so in those kind of situations it's actually better than thespian stage or vesuva of course it's not always better this isn't a strict upgrade but it is a side grade which is an interesting thing to have reprinted since those are both very powerful lands other decks where this is going to be very good are in decks that are running lots of fetch seeing as if you really want to be thinning out your deck and searching up for powerful dual lands getting another fetch is not the worst thing you can do however it is going to come in tapped if you do that so you are going to have to wait one turn in order to be fetching it also works very nicely in decks that are looking to self mill or put lands into their graveyard so obviously the gitrog monster is going to be all about this card you want to be dumping as many lands as possible into your graveyard and with the gitrog monster you have a lot of ways to replay those lands from your graveyard so this could even come in as copies of strip minor stuff like that. I think that's why it has the coming in tapped clause to make sure you can't abuse it too much with land recursion from graveyard. But still, it's a very powerful effect even if you're going to have to wait a turn to use the tap ability. It also is going to work very well in cave decks if those end up being a thing. I'm not sure they will, but if they do, then this is going to be a centerpiece of those decks, particularly since a lot of the caves that I've seen so far have sacrifice abilities that put them into the graveyard. This then allows you to get another activation off of those caves by entering as a copy of them. But yeah, I think this is a powerful effect that is definitely going to see play in the format in specific decks. Not necessarily in every deck, but in decks that have very powerful lands that often get removed, this is a great way to effectively recur those lands. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comments section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.